I want you to try and imagine something. You're at home. It's the middle of the night. You can hear shouting and guns being fired in the distance. Then the sounds are right outside your door and then you know you have to leave. You grab your children, leave everything else behind and just start running. Nothing will ever be the same again. There's been ongoing conflict here for over 30 years, and this camp is one of many that's now home to thousands of families who have lost everything. This is Feza, who along with her husband Musa, fled their home with nothing but the clothes on their back and their children, eight-month-old Desange and three-year-old Espoir. <laughs> There are over 60,000 people in this camp, and these conditions are a breeding ground for dangerous diseases like measles, polio, and cholera. Anyone who's not vaccinated is at risk. Fez's husband, Musa, had a severe case of cholera. But by the time they reached the hospital, Musa's condition had deteriorated rapidly. And there was nothing the doctors could do. But Feza didn't have time to grieve. Just two months after losing her husband to cholera, things suddenly took another turn as Fez's little boy Espoir began to show symptoms. Now Espoir also had cholera. Around the world, an estimated five million children die every year from diseases that could be prevented with a vaccine. For people living in conflict, it's even more urgent to get those vaccines to children to stop the spread. And that's why UNICEF is here now. Clarice is one of the UNICEF-trained vaccinators working here. Kama UNICEF haipane vaccine, magonjwa ineza kuwa ya mingi, batu waneza kufa sana. Feza's quick actions saved her son's life. Ameniandikia mafishi na dhulite ba mtila serumu. Ilifika busubuhi na nanda jisiki ya bie. Ananda leta kalecho. But prevention is always better than cure. And that's why this work is so important. If you love your child, you have to protect them. But for some families, that's so much harder. With your support, UNICEF will get vaccines to children wherever they are. Please give what you can. Thank you.